Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about the keys to good transfers when fielding. Before we do that, today's video is powered by Triton. If you guys follow our pages, you know that we wear Triton gear and jerseys. They do an awesome job. Here's an example of one of the things they make for us right here. It is super comfortable. Definitely go and check their stuff out. Go to custombaseballjerseys.com. You can see everything they make over there. Definitely go out and have a look. Okay, so Bobby Dickerson. I've been getting a lot of messages about some of the videos that have been thrown up by him, or not by him, but by the Orioles on Twitter over the last couple of months. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it because one of the things he says um, is I, I have found really, really important a good infield play. And I, I had the, the uh, luxury of playing for Bobby. When I was with the Orioles, um, I got to work all spring training with him. Okay, and he, is, he does a great job with infield play. Um, I learned a lot, and one of the things I took away from him, it was him and uh, Mike Bordick, so both of them were preaching kind of the same thing, is the importance of fielding the ball off of the same spot in the glove every single time, okay? So in one of the videos you hear Bobby say that he can tell without watching just by listening he can tell who the good infielders are because he says you can just hear the pop 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 every time they field the ball whether it's fielded whether they catch the ball right you hear that solid pop every single time what does that mean the only way to get a solid pop on a glove is you've got to feel it, you've got to catch it whether it's here or here in the same spot boom right there every time it's right off of basically the index finger okay if you catch a ball here or here or up here you don't get that same solid pop that you do when you get it right here okay and like he said you get kind of this you know the ball rattles around you kind of hit instead of whack whack every single time okay really really important never thought about this until I really got to the Orioles okay I do remember when I was with the Padres actually um, that they had told me one time that it looked like the ball was kind of rattling around in my glove when I was playing third base this was my first year I was playing third we we're working on defense and they said man they said it seems like the ball's kind of rattling around in there when you're fielding it and I was like mm, I don't know maybe I stink I don't know but it wasn't really until I was with the Orioles that year that uh, Mike and Bobby were talking about the importance of getting the ball off the index finger, right? And why that and how that creates that pop and that creates that clean transfer. When I know the ball is going to be bang right there every time, when I know that I'm going to either catch the ball here or field the ball here and I'm going to get it off that part every single time, well, now the ball, I know where it's going to be. Bang, ball pops into my hand every time. When the ball pops into my hand, well, now I get a good clean grip on it. And now I'm able to make a good, strong, consistent throw more times than not. Where I get in trouble is when one time I catch it here, and then one time I catch it here, and then one time up here, and then one time over here, right? And I'm not used to getting it here every time. Well, that's when the ball, right? You, if you've played infield before, if you've played baseball, you know that feeling. When you field the ball and you go to get it out and it's like you have trouble kind of getting a good grip on it, right? Because the ball's not where you want it to be. Now, all of a sudden, like, oh man, I don't have a good grip. My mind starts to speed up, which makes my body kind of speed up. And now I throw the ball before I'm really set and ready to throw the ball, and pew, ball air mails so, right into the ground, right? We've all been there before. I've been there a lot. When, you, when that doesn't happen, when you feel the ball, bang, and that thing hits right here, boom, and it pops into your hand, now my body has time. I'm able to get in sync, right? I feel really good. Ball comes out. I get a good grip. Boom, nice. I'm confident. Nice throw across the infield. Okay, so it's really, really important to field the ball off the same part every single time. How do you do that? Well, we used to do a ton of hand routine stuff. If you haven't seen our hand routine stuff, go back and check it out. Type it into YouTube. We've got a bunch of videos on it. But essentially, we'll do a lot of work where we'll take the gloves off, we'll go bare hand, and we're working through a progression of ground balls, just simply rolled. And I'm trying to focus on fielding the ball right off of this index finger right here 
every single time. So I'm just gonna get down, I'm just deflecting it into my hand over and over and over again. Now, if you do this, with, especially with some young players, but even with older players and just watch, if you just say, go bare hand and don't even tell them what you're supposed to do, just watch. Sometimes they'll feel it off the pinky, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's over here. The ball's rattling all over the place. You have to, if you're one of those guys that the ball's bouncing everywhere, I've got to pay attention. Every single ball, that's why we say, it's not so much the drills that we're doing, it's what we're doing in the drills. So you can have a player get down on our knees and feel rolled ground balls a hundred times and one guy might be feeling it everywhere, okay? Now he goes to the game, he does the same thing. You can do the same drill and tell the player, or if you're the player, have the ability, the focus, to say, I'm gonna field every ball right here. Every ball, boom, bang, boom, 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 until I get a hundred in a row, okay? And every now and then you get one here, okay, boom. I missed that ball, I gotta focus back in, get it off my index finger. If you do that over and over again, there's no doubt that when you put your glove on, you go in the game, you're gonna feel more balls off your index finger, okay? So, you will get good at whatever it is you focus on, whatever it is you practice. So we'll go bare hand, then we go flat glove, and then you can go small glove, like this training glove right here, and then you can go real glove, right? You don't have, if you don't have all that stuff, all right, everyone's got a bare hand, so you can go bare hand, and then if you don't have a flat glove, you don't have a small glove, then go glove, right? But just that bare hand alone will give you that focus here. Now when I put my glove on, I go back into my drills, I've got to keep focusing on get every ball there, get every ball there, get every ball there, get every ball there, over and over again, right? And be super, super laser focused on exactly what it is you're doing. That's the only way to get better at it. Now you do that, again, you go to the game, or before you even go to the game, you do that, you stand up, you have somebody roll you some more balls, you move back, you fungo them, you move back four, you hit more, you hit more fungos, you have somebody flip and you really whack a fungo, you get into practice, into batting practice, and you field off of the bat, now you get into the game, you do all that and you're focusing on small details, like get it off my index finger, that's how you get better, that's how you will eventually get it into the game, okay? So hopefully that makes sense, but it was just something that really, really helped me out, something I never thought about until I was 20, I don't know how old I was that year, 27 years old, 26 years old, somewhere around there, right? And then I thought, man, that makes total sense. I never thought of that. Get it off the index finger every single time. Make it pop, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps you uh, guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. And that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.